Welcome to WMI-TV News, I'm Laura Singleton, coming to you from inside Sholo TV studio every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. This news is being driven to you by Horn Auto Center, the Chevy store that saves you more. Today's top story comes from Heber Overgaard in Navajo County. Last month, about 125 students and parents attended the first stress and anxiety management workshops in the Heber Overgaard Unified School District. The events were hosted by ChangePoint Integrated Health and the Navajo County Council on Mental Health in response to the alarming rate of suicide in young adults in Navajo County. The Navajo County suicide rate is twice that of the state of Arizona average, according to the Navajo County Community Health Assessment. To combat the suicide epidemic in Navajo County, multiple agencies have formed committees that are taking action. We're targeting schools first and plan to continue teaching stress and anxiety management for youth and parents, says ChangePoint Integrated Health Development and Marketing Director Nathan Updike. For more information about this county-specific data and upcoming events that will address suicide and mental health issues, see your Tuesday, April 30th edition of The Independent. Now to the Navajo Nation. Salt River Project, also known as SRP, is sending crews to the Navajo Nation for a three-week volunteer effort to power homes that have never had electricity. SRP is one of 24 community-owned electric utilities from 12 states volunteering in a collaborative effort known as Light Up Navajo. This project supports efforts by the Navajo Tribal Utility Authority to bring power to areas that have been without electricity for decades. SRP line workers hope to energize their first home on Monday. For more details, see your Tuesday edition of The Independent. Now to education. <sighs> Lexington Life Academy of Sholo held an open house in April to share information with the public. At the open house, they demonstrated how they specialize in education for individuals with autism and special needs. They specialize in providing alternative education for children that includes evidence-based academics, positive life skill development, and social-emotional learning. Don McMasters, founder of White Mountains Autism Foundation, also attended the open house showing his support for Lexington Life Academy. For additional information about the school, call 928-351-7864. Now to your weather forecast, brought to you by White Mountain Publishing. Today's forecast calls for continued sunny skies, windy conditions, and highs in the upper 60s. Thursday should also bring sunny skies and the same gusty winds. Highs could reach 70 degrees, making it feel like summer is just around the corner. More details on any of the news you've heard today can be found in your Tuesday or Friday Independent. Also, don't forget to like and share the WMI Central Facebook page for local breaking news updates. And remember, today's news was driven to you by Horn Auto Center, the Chevy store that saves you more. Thank you for watching. I'm Laura Singleton.